some men live and die in the shade of their olive trees. A lifetime of peace and simplicity. This book is the record of a man who wanted more. A man who wanted everything. His name was Napoleon Bonaparte, soldier, general, emperor. Yet, all things have a beginning. There was a time when Napoleon was just a boy. A boy from Corsica. Ambition. Instilled in the mind of a child, it becomes a powerful force. From an early age, Napoleon was told that ambition can make a man great. His father had done everything in his power to secure a place for his young son in a school on the mainland, far from Corsica and the confines of island life. Welcome to Corsica. You're about to learn how to build an empire through conquest and diplomacy, establish vast and profitable trade routes, research new and exciting technologies, and advance Napoleon's military power on both land and sea. Fame and glory await. Let's start by getting comfortable with the camera controls. To move the camera around the map, simply press and hold the middle mouse button while moving the mouse in any direction. You can also zoom in and out of the campaign map by rolling the middle mouse button back and forth. Let's select your general, Napoleon Bonaparte. Move your mouse cursor over him and then left-click to select him. Napoleon has a set number of movement points that can be used in each turn of the game. The distance he can move is shown by the large colored area around him on the map. Each time Napoleon moves, this area becomes smaller until his movement points for the turn are exhausted. Also, within the character's movement area is a slightly smaller area in a different color. This is the zone of control. An enemy army or navy that enters the zone during the turn can be attacked. Try moving Napoleon to the port of Bastia on the northeast coast of Corsica. Select Napoleon and then right-click on the map on the intended destination with your mouse. Je ne peux faire cela, Général. Monsieur, vos ordres Citoyens, marchez Towns, ports and cities form the backbone of the nation. Double left-click on one of them to open its information panel. This will show exactly the panel contains information about your towns and ports, including their effects and background detail. Clicking on the tick icon will close this panel.
Once you have finished everything you want to do during this turn, select the End Turn button at the bottom of the screen. As Napoleon prepared to leave his island home, he must have been nervous. He was a boy leaving his family behind for a life in a strange new place. If only he had known that he was starting out on a path that would change the face of Europe forever. A ship has arrived to take Napoleon to the French mainland. Select Napoleon and then right-click on the ship to board it. Notice that the ship automatically moves towards Napoleon and if he has enough movement points left in this turn, he will board the ship. Les navires ne peuvent pas passer là. Ouais, Embarquement En avant Marchez Having boarded the ordre. ship, you now need to select a destination. Select the ship and right-click near the southern coast of France to allow Napoleon. As your course has now been set, you need to end turn before your ship can move in the next turn. Having set your ship's course in the previous turn, select the End Turn button so that it automatically carries out your order. Alternatively, if you wish to change your orders, simply select your ship and then right-click on a new area of sea to set a new destination. With his father, Napoleon travelled to mainland France to begin his schooling. From the moment he saw his new home, Napoleon fell in love. The beautiful countryside and cities must have been impressive to a boy from a small island. Perhaps he dared to dream that one day he would own all that beauty. With the camera now on Switzerland, quickly move back to Napoleon using the radar map at the bottom left of the screen. Simply left-click on the area of the map within the radar panel that you wish to view. The camera will then move there. Try using this method to change the view to Napoleon. Then select him and make your way to the Swiss border. Message boxes will appear during most turns on the left hand side of the screen. As this is an important message, it will automatically open for you. Otherwise, you can left click on the message icon to view a message or right click to delete it. You are about to enter another faction's territory. To see what your diplomatic relations are, click on the Diplomacy button at the bottom of the screen. The Diplomacy panel allows you to seek alliances, form trade agreements and use other nations' land for military access. Each nation is listed in either the Major or Minor Nation tabs. You can interact with a nation by clicking on its name and then left-clicking on the Open Negotiations button. Switzerland is currently allied with France. Select the Request Trade Agreement option from the left-hand side of the screen. Submit your offer by left-clicking on the Send Proposal button at the bottom of the panel. With a trade agreement, 
France receives additional wealth each turn for as long as the agreement is in effect. Your wealth can be viewed at the bottom of the screen. A victim of bullying, Napoleon held his head high. Other children may have drawn in upon themselves. He had the fierce pride of his father, and when asked to kneel before a schoolmaster, he calmly replied that a man bows only before God. This maxim would follow him into his adult years. Make your way to Reims with Napoleon. As you have chosen to move Napoleon to a destination outside of his movement area, additional arrows have been drawn on the map to display the number of turns required to reach the destination. Each arrow represents one turn. Do not press the space bar to speed up movement and land and see. Both units and turn times will now accelerate. Press the space bar again to return to the default speed. To construct a college, select the town of Brienne. Then mouse over its construction site icon on the review panel. Once the college drop-down icon appears, left-click on it to start construction. Each building takes a certain number of turns to construct. This number is displayed on the building's icon on the review panel. To review information relating to your current missions, select the Objectives button at the bottom of the screen. The Objectives panel displays your active mission, as well as the overall victory conditions required to win the campaign. Do not forget to click the end turn button once you have finished everything you need to do this turn. Travelling between regions can be made faster by improving the roads within them. To do this, select Reims and then select the Infrastructure tab. Then, mouse over the Construction site icon and select the Road drop-down icon to upgrade the roads. 
Better quality roads allow agents and armies to move further within a region during a turn. They also improve the local economy and trade. construction of the college is now finished. Click on the research and technology button at the bottom of the screen to advance your nation's skills and resources. The research and technology panel shows military, administrative and industrial technology trees. Simply left click on the technology icon within one of the trees to start research. Or Right-click to view the effects of a technology you are interested in researching. Technologies which cannot be researched at the moment will be greyed out. Each educational building you own allows one technology to be researched. Gentlemen such as this can be used in a variety of different ways. Dueling, stealing technology from other nations and speeding up your own technology research time. Let's use this gentleman to help with research at the nearby college. To do this, Ma mission. select the gentleman, then right-click on the college at Brienne to send him there. Silence garanti. Your gentleman is now inside the college. Instructions. And you will notice on the tech tree that researching your new technology will be faster. By sending more gentlemen to this college, research speed will continue to increase. of great military leaders, paying particular attention to Alexander's campaigns. He dreamed of emulating his heroes, something that few can turn into reality. But this 
was not the case for Napoleon. Make your way to Paris with Napoleon. To build a cannon foundry, select Paris and then the construction tab on the review panel. Now, select the cannon foundry drop-down icon from the empty building site. Notice that you do not forget to click the end turn button once you have finished everything you need to do this turn. To build a cannon foundry, select Paris and then the construction tab on the review panel. Now, select the cannon foundry drop-down icon from the empty building site. Notice that you can build many different types of buildings in a city and that during this campaign, Napoleon has gained various personality traits. Traits can be both positive and negative, and they are acquired as your generals do things and go places. To view your general's traits, right-click on this portrait card in the Army tab of the Review panel. Do not forget to click the end turn button once you have finished everything you need to do this turn. You will find the Building Browser button useful now that you have a large number of buildings. The Building Browser shows the types and locations of your buildings. Click on any of the buildings to see how it can be upgraded. This panel shows you the chain of upgrades available for the building you have selected. You can also use the arrows at the top of the panel to cycle through your various regions to see which buildings they contain. This is a useful method to see if any buildings can be upgraded in your empire. on its icon. To view information about a specific unit, either mouse over a unit card. This panel gives you important information about the unit, including size, cost, experience, special abilities, and a detailed description.
Do not forget to click the end turn button once you have finished everything you need to do this turn. The revolution, a time of upheaval and a shining opportunity for Napoleon. Social position counted for nothing. Ambition would take a man anywhere, and Napoleon had it in abundance. Opportunity was coupled with hardship. Napoleon lost his father, but now he had a destiny to create. Make your way to Dijon with Napoleon. Homme, en avant! To start building the musket manufactory, remember to select Dijon and then the construction. Workers are on strike in Paris. Ignore them for the time being. The people are notorious for kicking up a fuss and will go back to work soon enough. To increase your nation's wealth, upgrade your towns and farms throughout France. Paris is now rioting. Pressing the home key will focus the camera on your capital. You must stop the riot before the situation turns into a full-blown rebellion. Now, click on the government button at the bottom of the screen to deal with the unrest. The government panel contains information about the current status of the nation. It also gives you the opportunity to change your government ministers and national taxes. Select the Policies tab to lower taxes in France. To set the tax levels for the upper and lower classes of France, simply slide the rule buttons left and right. You will now notice that the map of Europe will start to change in color depending on the taxes rate you have set for your country. By increasing taxes, you are more likely to upset people, as shown in red. By reducing them, you will increase happiness, as shown in green. The Minister's panel shows you your national government. Each minister 
has a set of traits which gives bonuses or penalties within their areas of expertise. Another way to improve the happiness of the city's people is to construct buildings such as opera houses or museums. You may wish to add one of these buildings in Paris. Garrisoning units within a rioting city will also help stop the unrest. Recruit a unit of dragoons to help, as they have a greater policing bonus than other units. Do not forget to click the end turn button once you have finished everything you need to do this turn. With the riots over, it is a good idea to repair buildings that were damaged by rioters. Click on any of your towns which have been damaged, shown by black smoke. Now, select the damaged building icon within the review panel and left click on the repair button to start repairing the building. Each building costs a different amount of gold to repair and takes several turns to complete. The cost and time required for repair depends on the amount of damage done.
after the loss of his father, Napoleon was left without a guide. He found a new mentor in Baron Duteil, the man who was to nurture his talent for artillery and set the young Napoleon on the path to greatness. Select the port of Genoa to begin the conversion process from a trading port into a dockyard. Now, select the trading port icon on the review panel. With this selected, click on the change building type button at the bottom of the screen. Then, pick the dockyard building icon to convert the town into a dockyard. Do not forget to click the end turn button once you have finished everything you need to do this turn. Dockyard completed, we can defend our seas against the Sardinians and other aggressors. To start recruiting your fleet, select Genoa and then the naval recruitment. Do not forget to click the end turn button once you have finished everything you need to do this turn. This panel contains information about your city including its public order levels, wealth, and current population number. Clicking on the tick icon, sea trade is vital. The Sardinians have a trade route nearby, and it would be a good idea to indulge in a little piracy.
select your other ship and right-click on the trade route. Once the ship is in position, it will automatically start its pirating activities. This is in... In his first action, Napoleon proved that he was a more than capable soldier. He was able to look battle in the face, unblinking and undaunted. He took this bravery and returned to Corsica, the island home that he had left so long ago. To blockade the port, simply select one of your ships and then right-click on the port you want to blockade. Once the ship reaches the port, it will automatically start the blockade. The port with the trade route under our control, the Sardinians will struggle to make money from it. Do not forget to click the end turn button once you have finished everything you need to do this turn. Do not forget to click the end turn button once you have finished everything you need to do this turn. Do not forget to click Select the Diplomatic Relations button and then select Sardinia from the list of nations on the Diplomacy panel. Open negotiation with them and choose the Peace Treaty option. Finally, select the Send Proposal button and wait for their response. You have successfully made peace with Sardinia. The waters along our southern coast will be safe again. Toulon, 1793. Napoleon was given his chance and control of the artillery after the previous commander was injured. Napoleon's attention to detail and confidence made quite an impression on his superiors and they sang his praises to Paris. His reputation was being made. This is our nation's secret weapon, the spy. Before you send your army to besiege Toulon, a spy can sabotage buildings, assassinate generals, or discover vital information about the enemy. Spies and other agents can be found easily using the list button at the bottom of the screen. The Select the infiltrate option. If the spy has enough movement points, he will automatically try to enter the city. You will get a message to report his success or failure. J'espionne. Once the spy enters the city, you will see him in the agent tab of the review panel. From here, you will be able to carry out various tasks from the next turn onwards, including assassinations and sabotaging enemy buildings.
If you wish to cancel a unit's recruitment, left-click on the unit icon in the queue. In light of the information from your spy, it would be wise to increase your army in size and strength. Make sure you have recruited cannons and line infantry from Paris before you attack the city. To attack the city of Toulon, select your army or armies and then right click on the city. The Commencez le siège has vital information in determining how to attack or defend against your enemy. Apart from showing you the troops, which each army contains and their size, it also shows you how likely you are to win or lose, indicated by the colored bar at the center of the panel. At the bottom of the panel, you will notice various attacking options. These buttons allow you to either continue or break a siege on your enemy stronghold, attack the enemy by playing or by auto-resolving the battle, or finally, demanding that your enemy surrenders. Try using the auto-resolve options now to capture Toulon. Village assiégé! Opération de siège en préparation Nous avons triomphé You have successfully captured Toulon and driven the British from France. Hailed as a hero, Napoleon had his first taste of fame and loved it. With the power of the military, he could achieve anything. That much was abundantly clear to the young and ambitious officer. All he needed was one chance to build his power base and seize control of the nation he had so admired. He would not have long to wait. As the British warships fled the harbor, so did Napoleon's last doubts in his abilities. He had stepped from the shadows to take command and led his soldiers to victory. At 24, Napoleon was a brigadier general of artillery. Now, he wanted an army. The years of waiting were almost over.